to my channel. Thank you for coming. I'm here at Legally Techie. We show you how to use Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suites, for your law firm or solo practice. So today I'm going to show you how to approve a legal document. Now, if you haven't seen the first video, I'm going to go ahead and put the link to that here. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and finish off where we left off on how to approve a legal document. So here you've got this email from either your paralegal or your draft attorney and needing you to review and approve a legal pleading. So now that you have it open, you have the due date and who exactly is sending that request, you want to go ahead and open that document. Now that you have it open, you have the option to approve, reject, and also view the details. So you can go ahead and approve it from there. You have the deadline. You can see all the changes that were made since it started and you'll have different options as you continue to make changes and it goes back and forth between the parties. You also see who exactly are the approvers for this. You can leave comments as well and so forth. So if you remember in the last video, I did not have it toggled to allow them to make edits, but as you can see, this account already had editing rights to this document. Therefore, it kind of allows them to go ahead and do just that. So if I just go ahead and approve it, you can also leave a message and then you click approve. As you can see, we're still missing one extra party to approve this document. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it lets you know, partially approved, waiting for one more approver to approve. So you're able to know at every stage. So now that the file has been approved by both parties, as you can see, you get this message, the file is locked from editing. And this helps secure the integrity again of the legal document that you're working on. We're gonna click on re reload. And as you can see, you don't have the options here to go ahead and have the changes that you want, the formatting and rules and stuff like that, because now you're in view mode. But as the owner of the document, you can go ahead and unlock the file if you need to. And now that it's unlocked, it lets you know that this document was already approved and it may have been modified. So you can go ahead and make changes again and you can go ahead and request another approval. Yep. So you can make another request. As you see, once the approval has been completed, all parties do get an email showing that this document has been approved. So thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you.